Hello, my name is Teresa and I'll be talking about the New Zealand Arts Festival that's coming to Wellington. There's a few shows and writer presentations uh, that can be interpreted and accessible to the deaf and I'll explain uh, each of those. The first show is an interpreted play called My Stories, Your Emails. It's a one woman show and her name is Ursula Martinez and she's from England. The play talks about her life experiences growing up and also a small part of the play focuses on a striptease that she did that was filmed and that video was then put on the internet and she's had a massive response from a lot of people viewing the video and being quite quite gobsmacked so she's received plenty of emails regarding that video. The play is a comedy. It has adult themes plus some nudity. This play is happening on Friday the 14th of March and that'll be at 8 o'clock. That'll be at Downstage Theatre or the Hannah Playhouse. It's the same building. The price, if you could please have a look at the website, which will be down the bottom of this video. There's a writer's lecture by Eleanor Catton. She's a New Zealand woman and she is a really top, fantastic, well-known writer. Recently she won an award uh, known as the Man Booker Prize for her, her book called The Luminaries. So she'll be talking about uh, the importance of character in uh, story development within writing. That'll be happening on Monday the 10th of March at 4.45pm in the afternoon. And that will also be at the Embassy Theatre. So another writer lecture by a, na a man named Jack Lazenby. He's a New Zealand, he's a popular New Zealand children's writer. And Jack will be talking about his book. That's happening Saturday the 8th of March at 12.15pm in the afternoon. He'll be at Downstage Theatre. So another writer's lecture, a woman named Alison Bechdel, and she's an American uh, cartoonist. Her graphic novels are really fantastic, and she'll be talking about uh, her personal and political work within her presentation. That's happening on Sunday the 9th of March at 1.45pm in the afternoon and she'll be presenting at the Embassy Theatre. So another writer's lecture is by a woman named Elizabeth Gilbert. And she's an author of a book called Eat, Pray, Love from a little while ago. She'll be talking about her career in writing so far, plus her recent novel, which is The Sign of All Things, Signature of All Things, and that'll be talking about 19th century women in the world of science. And uh, a woman in, a, in the botanical life. So that's Tuesday the 11th of March at 4.45pm later in the afternoon and she'll be at the Embassy Theatre. So another writer's presentation by a man named Tony Birch. He's from Australia. And Tony grew up in Melbourne. He went to a, in a rough area and when he went to high school he was a, a really good student, but he got in trouble and was expelled twice. And now 
he teaches creative writing. So his presentation will be a discussion between Tony with a man named Robert Sullivan. And Robert is a poet. So they'll be talking about uh, the recent book by Tony. That's happening Saturday the 8th of March and that will be 1.45 p.m. at the Embassy Theatre. So there are three different plays that are accessible for the deaf community without the need for interpreters. And for the price, please have a look at the website just below. The first show is called Beyond and it's really showing circus circus displays. And that's the 8th to the 16th of March at the Opera House. The second show is called Rian. And that's about really focuses on, on modern dance set to Irish music and people from around the world. And that'll be happening the 12th to the 15th of March in St James Theatre. And the third show that's accessible to the community is called Power Plant. That has five different artists involved and they've transformed the Wellington Botanical Gardens. So they use uh, lights in their art installation so people can come along, come along and look at night time and see the different displays of light. And that'll be happening from the 28th of February to the 16th of March and that's at the Botanical Gardens in Wellington. So for more information you can go to the website just here. So the New Zealand Arts Festival is really fantastic. There's lots of different events for the deaf people, deaf community to get involved with. So please have a look at the website for more information and have a think about uh, which event you're going to go to. We'll see you later.